Hi, I'm Amanda of Inspiring Inkin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be using a new product from Stampin' Up. It's called the Take a Bow Bundle or Take a Bow <laughs> Bundle. It's to make decorative bows for all your gift packaging. It's really quick and simple to do. So I'm going to get the camera turned around and let's get crafting. You'll find the product on page 39 of the Autumn Winter Catalog, and it actually comes as a bundle. So there's a die and some patterned papers. So I'm just going to quickly show you what they, they look like first up. So this is the die. Now this die is huge. It's a full six by six um, size. So you will need a die cutting machine that will take a, a six inch width um so most of the standard die cutting machines will work with that and you can buy the die separately but you don't want to miss out on this paper so the paper is called take a bow <laughs> i should have known that um and it's a six by six paper pack with four different double-sided patterns so I'm just going to flip them over for you. So this is kind of the green based side. And then we've got the red based side. So we've got stripes and spots and holly leaves, um, which is, is really lovely. And it's a pack of 48 sheets. So you get 12 each of each pattern. So in order to make a bow, you need two sheets of uh, the patterned paper. Now, with a bit of trial and error, I have discovered that it is easy to run it through with uh, two sheets at once. Um, so that is really good. So you're going to need your plate number one so if you're using a, a stamp and cut and emboss machine you'll need your plate number one plate number two and two plates number three if you've got a different die cutting machine then please just follow the instructions this is a thin metal die so pop your two sheets down take your die and position it on the top now it is designed to fit on a six by six so there's only a tiny, tiny gap left and right, top and bottom. It's important as well that you center it on your die cut, on your plates, so that when you run it through, it's, um, it's not going to catch on the sides. So once you've run your paper through the die cutting machine, you will end up with six larger strips. four medium strips and two smaller ones. Now, you only need one of the small ones um, for each bow. But what I'm actually really excited about, obviously the bows, but look at this. You've got bunting. So this is going to work brilliantly on a card. So make sure you check out my blog. Let me just put my blog address up, actually, because then you'll be able to see www.inspiringinkin.com. And up there is um, a blog post and you'll see the bow. Um, but I'm also going to make a card as well. So to make the bow, you're going to need some liquid glue or some tape or both. And um, I suggest, oh, um, I suggest that you use a bone folder as well. So just hold the bone folder in your hand, put your thumb on the paper and pull. And you just want to give these a little bit of a curl. They don't need to be super curly. And the reason for that is it gets more fiddly when you come to the gluing part. So let's just run that along. Okay. 
so I'm just going to put them into sections. That's the littlest, that's the littlest one. One, two, three, four, five. six okay so you've got six four and one now the way these get stuck together i'm just going to show you on one of them and then i'll just speed the camera up um because you won't need to to watch me do all of them but basically each strip has got these two diagonal cut lines and a straight line and in order to make the the bow pieces you are going to lay these on top of one another to make a point. So it might, it might be easier yeah, to see there. So it goes like that. And then this straight edge, that straight edge is going to line up against that diagonal like so. And then that one is going to line up like that. And what that does, it makes a little point but it gives you this beautiful overlaid piece and the rounded the rounded top. So how you um, attach these together is absolutely up to you. I love my Tombow um, and I prefer to work sort of upside down. I prefer to work like this because it's easier for me to line it up and then hold it steady for a second while the Tombow grabs rather than doing it sort of inside the loop. But try it both ways. It's um, absolutely up to you which way you, you stick it. Um, but for me, that's the way I prefer. So we're going to do that for all 10 pieces. So you've actually got four of the medium and six of the large. The only difference is this piece. This is the center of the bow. And what we're going to do is you're going to make it into a loop. Now, the size of loop um, will decide on the center piece um, of your bow. So I'm going to just overlap it a little bit so that you can't see any of these uh, diagonal cut pieces. There we go. And just to give it a hold. Okay, so that's the only difference. And the rest of them we're going to make into little bows, little, little loops like this. So let's get this bow assembled. Um, you can use your um, double-sided tape or your Tombow. I'm actually going to carry on with my Tombow. It, for me, it's just a little bit faster. Um, and I'm going to make these into pairs. So I've got two there. And then what we're actually going to do is just push that down so that it starts to form the, the six-pointed star. Now, the closer you put these together, the less space you will have. So my recommendation when you're starting is to keep them quite wide apart um, because you want to have wriggle room in order to get everything stuck down. So I'm just going to put this one in. So again, this isn't going to be like a cross because you've got six, six points. There we go. So that one is going there. So you can see. And having the Tombow just means that you can wiggle it a little bit. Um, if you wanted to, actually, you could use a brad um, and that would allow you to move the pieces around a little bit more. And then this is 
going to stick I'm going to stick the two together again so this is actually going to make a cross so it's actually going to stick like that so we can actually do that I think and then that's going to make a cross and then this piece is going to go in and then you're just going to put your last little piece in your little loop just bend it around a little bit Ooh. try not to get tumble on your fingers because now it's stuck <laughs> there we go and there we go look at that how cool is that bow so there you go three completed bows using the take a bow or take a bow uh patterned patterned paper they all look very slightly different um it will depend on how you overlap uh the loops in the first place and how you position them but they're dimensional, they're sturdy, even though they're paper, they are sturdy. They're going to hold their shape on your gifts. So thank you so much for joining me today. You'll find a link to the blog post in the description below. And as always, all of the products that you've seen today can be purchased in my online store. If you pop over to www.inspiringinking.com, you'll see um, a list and information there, uh, shoppable links and lots more creative inspiration. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.